Two of the biggest names in the global game going head to head. Football matches barely come any more mouthwatering than the Derby d'Italia. It is a fixture that has seen so many great moments over the years. Great goals, great players. And every time Derby Day comes around again, it feels like the first time. And fans expect something special. It asks an awful lot, of course, of the players to perform amid such a big atmosphere. But these are amongst the world's biggest stars. And it is for days like this that they invest so much in their careers. It is feverish ahead of kickoff. Nothing, of course, is certain. The fans have been going at it full tilt for hours now, turning the stadium into a real bear pit. The moment comes, though, when fans turn their attention only to the players and players to the task ahead. These are the days when legends are made. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. It's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances. You feel the rivalry. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Romelu Lukaku, his physical characteristics are very impressive. They're always likely to attract the most attention, of course, but for me, it's not just that he's big and he's quick, it's his willingness to, to go direct with the ball at his feet, to take his man on, be brave and just head for goal. That's what makes him quite lethal. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Pjanic. Lukaku, it's Lukaku! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Quadrado. And it's Dybala. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Godin. Brozovic. Ashley Young. Brozovic. Brozovic spreads it towards the left. Vecino. Quadrado does well there, alert. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Keeper's got good distance on that. Chiellini. Douglas Costa. He's played him through. Cristiano Ronaldo going for goal! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. Well, that was all about the quality of the ball, wasn't it? It couldn't have been placed any better. Oh, good interception. Matuidi tries to get it forward quickly, and it's Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa has got himself a free kick. Juventus seeking to maximise the moment. Oh, it's hit the post! And Hadanovic pulls off a sensational save! Moses. No goals as yet. Hoists it forward. Brozovic. Eriksson. And it's played forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Out to the right. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around, and they've been caught out here. Tries a shot! Goal! Juventus! Juventus who take the lead and that is about as cool as they come he picked his spot expertly
Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. A 1-0 lead established. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. The better of his opposite number. Matuidi. Douglas Costa looking to get on the end of this. Trout calling for him to shoot. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Ericsson. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. That's a goal kick. Yes, the referee concurs. Brozovic. Across the field it goes, and it's Moses. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Quadrado did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Skriniar gets rid without sophistication. Ronaldo is the guilty party there. Keeper sends it forward. Ericsson. Out to the left it goes. Back into the middle. He's in! Bonucci with a fine tackle. Martinez really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Skriniar, Skriniar, plays it towards the front. Ashley Young with the crossfield ball. Vecino, a searching ball out wide. Moses delivers, cut out in the nick of time. Dybala, Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's half-time here. There we are, off they go for half-time. The great group did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No-one's afraid to have a go. Juventus head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. So, we're just settling back into this second half. Juventus carrying a one-goal lead. Looks to thread it through. Alexis Sanchez. Big chance! And a header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks a harder thing to do. Vecino. Vecino goes looking. Lukaku. He is off the hook. That's personal relief. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. Ramsey, he's had a shot! He's looking to get there first. Point blank header! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. The Fry drives it forward. Marcino.
Martinez. Martinez gets it out to the wing. Oh, that's nice. Just brushed off the ball there. Douglas Costa. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo has a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Forward it goes. Inter are definitely going about this the right way. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. He's pinged one through here. Well positioned to make that interception. And it's Sanchez. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. That's great strength on the ball. Moses goes to the cross. Matuidi. Alexandro plays it forward. Douglas Costa tries to get it forward quickly. It's out for a goal kick. Well, you have to feel a little for the... Forward it goes. Alexis Sanchez. Well, decisiveness has deserted them, Peter. They need precision, and it's sadly absent. Eriksen plays a clever pass. Inter are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Tries to dink it in. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Bonucci positions himself well and cuts it out. Rabio. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Alexis Sanchez hoists it forward. Rabio, Cristiano Ronaldo, Rabio. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here. But they want to double their advantage. This could fall anywhere. Pjanic plays it out to the wing. Finish line. Jim, your thoughts? Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from Moran City. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Juventus could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. And he's away. And the ball's come out. Now it's Dybala. And it's Douglas Costa. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Roger heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. And his team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Juventus made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always about class or style, it's about 